who are you defending in this case? Who do you believe? Which side of the story are you buying into? Is it the club owner who allows that he was struck by Lindsay Lohan outside of the club? Or do you, are you buying into Lindsay Lohan's side? Do you think Lindsay Lohan is innocent? I don't think uh, Lindsay Lohan is ever innocent in uh, cases like this. It seems like Lindsay Lohan is always the blame. And it always uh, the end result is always Lindsay Lohan is the one who never uh, gets off easily. It seems like the person that presses charges against Lindsay Lohan is always the one that prevails. So who is innocent in all of this? If you have an opinion, uh, we invite you to comment on the video blog here on Facebook. You can also uh, join the conversation and uh, follow us on Twitter. Leave us a tweet about this. You can also uh, drop us a comment on our YouTube channel, youtube.com, JonathanClark22. I, for one, think that Lindsay Lohan isn't innocent in all of this. And it's not because I love to criticize Lindsay Lohan, but I mean, look at the uh, embarrassment she's become, not only to her fans and her uh, followers on Twitter uh, for making all these legitimate claims in the form of tweets, but look how much of an embarrassment she's become to her entire family, in particular her father, who of course she's never been close with. You have to wonder what her family is thinking of all of this. I mean, Lindsay Lohan always talked about it in a negative way. Make no wonder Kelly Kelly wants to wrestle in a celebrity versus wrestler match at WrestleMania. I would love to see Kelly Kelly get her hands on uh, Lindsay Lohan because that would be a match I'd actually pay for when it comes to celebrity appearances at WrestleMania. We've seen everything from uh, Floyd Money Mayweather versus The Big Show to Mike Tyson being the special enforcer for Austin versus Michaels a couple of years ago in 1998 at WrestleMania 14 uh, to Aki Bono versus The Big Show. Seems like we've seen everything. We've even seen Alex Trebek interview Demolition and Regis Philbin attempt to interview The Undertaker, so why not have Lindsay Lohan versus Kelly Kelly in a celebrity versus wrestler match? Who is innocent in all of this? I mean, it's really hard to buy into Lindsay Lohan's claims on Twitter. And, you know, just a bit of a story here on how I came across this news item. I was watching KTLA 5 News the other morning. And I actually saw that news piece. It was about a 45-second news piece that they had put together about Lindsay Lohan. And they described it as Lindsay Lohan being in trouble with the law yet again. You know, uh, six months from now, we're still going to be reading and hearing about Lindsay Lohan uh, on the Internet or on some news program uh, about being in trouble with the law. It seems like something that Lindsay Lohan has become very close with over the last number of years. It's no stranger to see Lindsay Lohan in a courtroom uh, professing in front of a judge that she's innocent because in her mind she believes she's the innocent one but what it all comes down to is Lindsay Lohan has nothing going for her she never has anything to promote she never has any movies I think the last movie she was in was Machete and if she were to come out with a movie nowadays I'd be very surprised a movie with her having an actual decent role at the last movie I saw her with a decent role might have been Freaky Friday with Jamie Lee Curtis back in 1999. And I think that was the last time I saw Lindsay Lohan have a decent role because it was for a decent company. And now we see her in movies like I Know Who Killed Me where she was a, a, a slut somewhat and, and then uh, her arms are replaced by robotic arms and stuff. I mean, we've never seen Lindsay Lohan in a sensible role uh, in the last number of years. The last time we saw her have a sensible role in Hollywood was back in 1999 for Freaky Friday, a family a movie that everybody enjoyed. And since then, I think ever since leaving Disney and leaving kids' companies, Lindsay Lohan's career has gone down the drain. I mean, rumors are floating around right now that she's going to be on the cover of Playboy magazine. I know that one will fly off the shelf. And that'll be probably the only bit of good publicity Lindsay Lohan will get because Playboy magazine always conveys uh, the celebrities that pose for them in a positive way, they give them a positive image. We've seen it from everything from divas to uh, former swimsuit models having a resort to go on the cover of Playboy to receive a lot of publicity. A lot of people have done it, a lot of people have had success. So that leads me to believe that Lindsay Lohan will have success on the cover of Playboy, previous things we've talked about here on the show. Lindsay Lohan is somebody who uh, you can never have any faith in because she's always caught up in something negative. Uh, in entertainment, no matter if it's uh, something going on with her family and her personal life, uh, to her being involved in some kind of uh, traffic accident. It seems like Lindsay Lohan just affiliates herself with, uh, you know, negativity uh, for something to do. Negativity is something that has always haunted and followed Lindsay Lohan. So you, you can't help but feel sorry 
uh, for Lindsay Lohan every time you hear something negative about her on the news. And the reason why you find yourself feeling sorry about Lindsay Lohan is because there's never anything good to associate with Lindsay Lohan. It's always something having to do with drugs. It's always something having to do with her flirting with another celebrity. Not too long ago, uh, the paparazzi spotted her flirting with the lead singer of Foster to the People. And I know this because I heard it. Um, you know, it, it's it's terrible. I mean, we never read anything positive on our official website, lindsaylowen.com. We never hear her tweeting anything positive. When was the last time she actually said something positive and friendly to fans via Twitter or Facebook? It seems like Lindsay Lowen, rather than use her Twitter and her Facebook page to promote something, is using her Twitter and her Facebook pages to uh, hyperventilate and as an open forum if anything, to relieve frustration. I mean, you have The Rock back on WWE, back to promote his movies in his Twitter account. And because he's back to promote his Twitter account, he has over 2 million followers on Twitter. He's one of the most followed wrestlers in history on Twitter. But then you have people like Lindsay Lohan who abuse Twitter and uh, use it as an open forum just to relieve a bit of frustration that's going on in her uh, entertainment life or her personal life. And most of the time, it's an issue uh, revolving around her personal life. Does Lindsay Lohan need to be dragging her friends and her family into her entertainment life, the portion of her life that's been exposed for the last decade? It's funny, you know, what kind of transitions these celebrities go under uh, from, you know, when they were kids into these uh, unprofessional teenagers who shouldn't have contractual deals. Uh, but because of the mischief and the unprofessionalism that they've uh, shown over the last five or six years, I think that's what Hollywood uh, feeds off of. Somebody who has a negative image and, and they realize they can achieve a lot of publicity uh, from the negativity of these stars who at one time, when they were kids, were looked up to by young audiences. And not only young audiences, but they were appealing to all these different age groups. I mean, you go back and you look back at some of Lindsay Lohan's past throwback uh, roles in movies when she was a kid, probably about 12 or 13, and I mean she had such a positive image, and that's like many of them. And once they stray away from the companies that made them famous, they realize they can do what they want, they can change their image up to the way they want it. Although we have many celebrities now vowing they're not going to change their image, and very few celebrities have been unable uh, to maintain their image that made them famous, and those who do maintain the image that made them famous definitely have a lot to be proud of. Because if you can maintain that same image for, let's say, 10 years, then you've accomplished a lot. But if you change your image up in a way that you look like a slut and perceive yourself as a waste of saliva, then you're, you're really serving no purpose. So I, I really don't know uh, what quite to say about this. I don't know um, who to actually favor in this, although I am favoring the club owner because the club owner seems to be making legitimate claims. And I mean, he wouldn't profess to the law that this happened if it didn't. I mean, he didn't get up one day and say, hey, I'm going to go out on the street and get hit by a celebrity just for the hell of it, just to receive a lot of publicity and to become famous. Because no doubt the club owners, club and himself, weren't famous. So uh, at the expense of a celebrity who's been known for the last decade and criticized above and beyond uh, expectation on Twitter and TMZ.com, uh, you know, it, it's it's crazy. You know, Perez Hilton criticizes Lindsay Lowe and Hillary Duff, the same type of people all the time, for good reason, because they never have anything good to talk about. Just recently here, of course, we found out Hillary Duff is pregnant. We just learned that uh, Jessica Simpson is going to be giving birth to a baby girl, somebody who I never thought I would um, ever see pregnant because of her image. And the celebrities you think that wouldn't be caught up in these scenarios and these situations are. I mean, can you imagine what kind of uh, things we're going to be faced with when it comes to entertainment? Probably 10 or 15 years from now, it's going to be terrible. I mean, the stuff we're going to be reading about, uh, the things we're going to be hearing about on Twitter, and it's going to come from the official Twitter accounts of these people. If it's not a statement they're releasing on Twitter, it's some kind of provocative photo, which, uh, I, you know, it's, it's crazy. I mean, every day we're going on Twitter and we're seeing these provocative photos of these celebrities that they post themselves, which is, is, is really terrible. I mean, what kind of image are they trying to get? I mean, we see Lindsay Lohan doing this kind of thing all the time. It's almost as if she puts herself out there 
to be talked about in a negative way because she realizes that negativity is something that's haunted her her entire life and she's going to receive a tremendous amount of pity and I have news for her she's never going to be favored by anybody because she has more people hating her than actually favoring her you go back ten years ago and if this were to happen ten years ago to her if she were to have been involved in all these hit and runs and all these drug abuse situations and uh, disputes that have taken place in the court of law like the Nicola Sheraton case just recently did um, people probably would have favored her then but because of all the negativity that's followed her since the age of 15 and the tremendous metamorphosis that her career has gone under nobody is favoring her everybody believes she's getting what she deserves so I asked the question to our Facebook fans I asked the question to the people who are following us on Twitter and listening to us on YouTube where you can hear the show YouTube and Twitter do you favor Lindsay Lohan do you feel sorry for Lindsay Lohan because of everything that's happened to her not just the uh, situation where she struck this club owner but do you feel sorry for Lindsay Lohan for everything that's happened to her, let's say, in the last five years? Do you think she's getting what she deserves? I think, honestly, you should throw her in jail and throw away the key and never let her out on probation like you've done all these years. Because if you do that, then she may learn a lesson. But if you keep letting her out on probation or escaping because of bail that she can obviously pay for because of her fame then you're not achieving anything. You're just saying, okay, get out and do whatever you want to do and do the same thing six or seven months down the road that you were incarcerated for. Terrible. Terrible. I will give Lindsay Lohan probably five